I'm going to do a quick session on Corel Draw's interactive shaping tools. In this session, we'll call the Incredible Polygon Tool. Now, everything you see in this particular t shirt template or layout was created with the Polygon Tool in Corel. And you're going to see some techniques here you've probably never seen before. The fact is, you can do some amazing thing if, the things if you know how to use the tools or the shaping tools in Corel effectively and what they're really capable of. Most of the people I know would go ahead and start drawing these wings these feathers and these wings one at a time when you don't have to do that. You can actually do this in minutes instead of hours if you understand how to use your application. And one of the key or fundamental aspects of working with the Corel Draw application is being able to work with the shaping tools effectively. Understanding how you can use them for different types of graphic design work in vector. So to get started here I just want to take a look at the polygon tool and the basics of that tool and then we'll go ahead and create some simple feathers and see how it is we can create a feather design like this in minutes. What I want to do is I want to go ahead and grab the polygon tool here and I'm just going to create a symmetrical polygon so I'll hold down shift and control. That'll give me three points and I want to change that to eight points as you can see here. Now one thing I want to do is go to my shaping tool and then you'll notice if I left click and hold down on any of these nodes that are in this interactive tool it will change the shape of them. You'll also notice that I can right click on any line segment convert that to a curve and if I change that line segment it'll change the line segments for all of the spikes or points in my polygon as you can see there we're already starting to build a feather shape now I'm going to go up here and we'll bring this up this way just a bit I'm going to double click here and I'm going to zoom in and we'll start working directly on one feather and then we'll see how we modify this one feather to create many feathers double click here on my line segment and create another node I'm just going to bring this over here so I get a bottom point with my feather and I'm just going to bring this up here and adjust the, this curve kind of like that and I'm going to right click on this line segment convert that to a curve and I'm going to shape that based to what I think I would want to be seeing in my feather. Now I can do a lot of customization and work here lay a node down here and change my shape just a bit there bring that in this way I could actually bring another node over here and we'll double click there and lay down another node there and we'll bring this in this way so very quickly we're creating sort of a feather shape here with our application. I'm going to pull this right down here. Now, next thing I'm going to do is I want to create the center line for my plume. And I'm actually going to use the same object to do that again. Simply going to copy and paste that on top. I'm going to fill that with black. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and lasso some of these nodes here and pull these down in to my plume and change the shape of these nodes to create kind of like the center, the center point that I would see with my feather as you can see here. Now I've got some issues in this line I want to lay down another node segment here and we'll pull this up in here and you can see very quickly here I'm creating that center line across all of these feathers. I'm going to do some adjustments on this node up here left click I'll pull this down this way bring this handle over here just a bit and do the same with this handle. Now if I want to spend some more time in here double click and put another node here I could do that and this is kind of overlapping just a little bit and that's not what I want so we'll do some tweaking here. Now I've got this line set up here now if you notice that I've got this feather that's over here on my design I've got some little notches of vector that kind of put some detail in that feather. I could have put a lot more in there and create a very hand-drawn look but we'll go ahead and just put a few of these in for the tutorial and then if you want to go ahead and do your own you'll be able to do that. All I need to do to create those is go back to my shaping tool and then just double click, drop a node here on this line, double click, drop a node there, double click. Now we'll zoom right in here and get a nice close look at what we're doing. Double click and drop another node here and then just pull this out this way and then just pull this line up. Now I got the line instead of the node. I want to pull the node up here. So I'll pull this node up here and then I'll go ahead and change this node just a little bit and then we'll pull this up this way and you can see I'd start to create that effect almost kind of like hand drawn. Then I can create those little like notches or area where the feather indents the same indents the same way here with the outside of the feather here and then just pull this in this way and then just bring this node up this way and I might want another one up here double click there double click there and I'm really kind of eliminating the need for extreme artistic talent at the same time. I like to do things quickly and be able to really work around having to use talent so that we can open up the application and graphic design very quickly and for those folks that kind of struggle with an artistic look and we can see we can just go right down through the whole feather 
and start to create that look all the way down. Now, once I've set these up like this, the only thing I need to deal with is that I've got these two objects here, and what I want to do is I want to kind of adjust what's going on here and pull this further down into my feather, where I've got all of this information down here with these different nodes in the bottom here. So I'll go ahead and just pull these in a bit and bring them in away from the rest of my feather, and then I'll tweak this just a little bit so I'll have all of that plume to work with. Now, if I wanted to work my detail all the way up through, like I said, I could do that and create a very nice look for this feather, but we're not going to do that at this point in time now. One of the great parts is, is that now that I've set this up with all these curves, you'll notice that if I want to, I'm still a polygon, even though I've got these feathers set up. So if I change this to 9, I'll create another feather. If I select where my plume center was and bring that up to 9, you'll notice that it holds its registration inside of my feather. So this is a good shape for me to start with. Now the next thing I want to do is go ahead and select all this and let's group it. Then let's go to Effects and Add Perspective. And then I'll go ahead and change the shape of all of these different feathers. As you can see here, now I've got what might be the top feather, what might be beneath that. And then I've got different sizes, different angles, and different rotations of my feather that I've created just by creating that perspective adjustment. Then I could actually go and skew this. Say I wanted to bring this down like this, or I wanted to skew it up like that. And I'll have all of these different feathers I can quickly start to work with. Now, the next thing I want to do is actually, now that I've done that, I want to ungroup all of this. I want to convert both of these to curves, convert to curve, and convert to curve. And then I'm going to create a simple circle that I'm going to bring over here. I'm going to use that to trim out the shape of my feathers, and then I'll have just my feathers. And we'll go ahead and skew this just a bit here so we get rid of all of this data that's coming into the center off of my feathers. Got the wrong object there. We'll bring that this way. And I'll go ahead and select everything and I'll come up here and I'll click on back minus front as you can see there. Now I've got all of these different feather, feather shapes. All you do is right click and select break apart. I'm going to actually go ahead and give these a pen outline. So I'll click here and we'll go with an outline of about 0.62 inches. We'll round the edges and we'll select OK. And then we actually want to double click again and go behind fill here. Behind fill and scale with image and select okay and then we want to fill this with a white and now I've got my feather objects as you can see here now I would have put some more detail in these obviously but you can see it looks very natural for vector now once I've done that these are all broken apart all I need to do is just start forming my feather shape or my wing shape excuse me with my different feathers and I could go right through and grab different feathers and have a wing very quickly made in Corel Draw that I would shape out with the different types of feathers that I've created very similar to what you see right here in my design. Now another great thing I can do is once I've completed that vector feather go ahead and ungroup this and I'll grab this vector wing with all those feathers I can actually start doing things and modifying this even more by going to some additional tools. I might want to go to my envelope effects here and we'll go down here and grab that and I could make some adjustments to the feather with that change my wings and change the shape of my feather design very radically using these different tools in Corel Draw and you can see within a matter of an hour I could probably come up with 10 or 15 different types of feather or wing sets once I've done something like that I could go back to effects and I could go to my add perspective again and start to change it even more so we realize that even though we've got something as complex as a feather, that we can create that very quickly working with the polygon tool in Corel Draw and taking a different approach to our work than we would normally working with something like the Bezier tool or the pen tool. The key is becoming familiar with these tools and understanding or identifying the opportunities that you have to use them to expedite your, works, your work process and design quickly. Quality graphics in minutes instead of hours.